Alan in Highland Park, New Jersey writes, from earlier descriptions, I expected the FR20s would have the woofer, uh, would have the woofers and have half the passive radiators of the FR30 and delete the rear tweeter in one piece package. And that's exactly what this is. I assumed the FR30 drivers would be used in the FR20, but then I noticed the cone construction was different, changing from metal to a carbon Roacell sandwich. As an old audiophile whose main interest is speakers, how and why were they constructed in such a way and different from the FR30? That's a great question, Alan. Oh, down on my knees here. So these are the FR20s, and you're correct. We took two of the FR30 uh, woofers out. We took two, one on each side of the passive radiators out and made it all into one cabinet. Same mid-range, same tweeter, half the woofers, half the passive radiators, and still the FR20, killer speaker. In almost any room, this thing just rocks. I mean, it's amazing. And one of the reasons that it has different woofers, different woofer cone material, has to do with how loud it plays for a given number of watts. Okay, so when you have four woofers and you're on the FR30, you are able to hit a certain level of loudness with a given number of watts because you've got four woofers, okay? Now, when you reduce down to two woofers, you're going to lose some volume because four woofers make more noise at a given wattage than two. So if we want to use the same approximate wattage so that the speakers are at the same sensitivity, FR30 and FR20, the way that Chris did this, he used the identical motors the magnet structure, the spider, the rings, and all that, same low distortion drivers, but he lowered the mass of the woofer cones. Now, listen, I'm no expert at this. I've just done this for years, and Chris has explained all this to me. And as I've said before, I'm going to get Chris to start doing these doggone videos <laughs> when it's about speakers, but I do know what, what he did and why. So if we could reduce the mass of the woofer cone in half, the efficiency would double. And that's what he did. So how do you do that though? Well, this special Roacell foam carbon fiber composite is something that he's worked with these people before that is, I mean, as close as you're going to get to an aluminum cone. And within the frequency band that it works, there's absolutely no breakup. It works perfectly, but that is the reason why the FR20 uses a composite material. And again, Roacell foam and carbon fiber layered together in this really cool sandwich. It cuts the mass of this cone in half, thus doubling the sensitivity. So for the same number of watts going into the FR20, you'll get approximately the same level of sound as the FR30 with its four woofers. So, hope that helps. Okay, thanks for the question, Alan, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.